Hi guys, something a bit different for you today. It's not a fragrance review. I'm reviewing a coffee maker by Melita. Here is the box, so stay tuned. So here it is. Um, this is the uh, Melita pour over coffee brewer. It comes in two parts. So you've got the top part, which is where the filter goes. You can see a hole in the bottom there. And uh, the, the jug here, and it's made of porcelain. And there's a lid as well, which will keep the coffee warm. So yeah, so um, <clears throat> to start with, we're going to use a, uh, a filter paper, like this one here, which is a Melita. It's the uh, size 4, so there's a box here. So I've boiled a kettle um, with hot water, and uh, we're just going to wet the uh, filter paper, just very slowly. And that will also warm up the, um, the jug and help, help to keep the coffee warm. I did quite a bit of research um, before I bought this. Um, I've had various, in fact I still have various coffee machines that um, take pods and they're okay, I'm not knocking them, but sometimes you cannot beat good filter coffee. And uh, I thought I'd try this one, it's probably the most simple basic method there is. It's not electric so there's no reason why this um, device won't last a lifetime. Okay, so that has gone through into the jug and we're just going to uh, swish that around. And then... So I'm going to put some um, ground coffee in into the uh, top of the, uh, the pot. I'm just going to use, um, it's already ground, you can grind, grind your own, uh, it's probably better if you can. But to, to save time, I've got some ready ground coffee. I'm just going to put in about two scoops. This is quite a strong uh, coffee. So um, I had uh, one the other day and it was uh, I made it a little bit too strong for my tastes. But it's, it's all trial and error with this. So nice hot um, water. I'm going to pour over the coffee. And this, uh, we're just going to basically wet the coffee to start with. And just carefully make sure all the coffee is wet. This process is called blooming. Okay, so we just let that seep through. Probably take 30 seconds. Just a little bit more there. That's it. So yeah, about 30 to 40 seconds, just let that seep through. Okay, that's about done now, so I'm going to pour more water, a lot more this time. Just slowly going in a circular motion. I'm using a normal regular kettle, you can buy these uh, fancy um, kettles with a, a goose neck uh, that's uh, does the job probably a little bit better. I might invest in one of those, but um, for now this will be more than adequate. Let that seep through now. Okay, now that's gone through almost. We're going to put some more water. More hot. And this hot, this process should take um, about two two and a half minutes maximum. It's pretty much guesswork. Um, some people like to measure everything and weigh everything, but to be honest, I'm not going to have time for that. Okay, so we'll just let that um, seep through, and that should be it. So that's all um, seeped through, all the water's gone through. So all we do now, we take the top off. You can see that. Beautiful coffee in there. Put the lid on. 
there we are so that's it you got a nice jug of coffee here's my cup so I'm gonna put pour in there looks really good now I prefer my coffee with milk so what I have I've done I've, I've heated up some mi milk in the microwave and I've got um, a, uh, a milk frother here which is a Bowdoin milk frother so let's just pour some of that in there so here it is one coffee and uh, some olive bread I'm gonna have mine with some cheese what a great cup of coffee just to mention I purchased this uh, Melita coffee maker from Amazon UK it was around £27, including delivery. Um, so yeah, that's the end of my review. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, are you planning to buy one of these or do you have one? Um, let me know in the comments. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.